Paintings vandalized. The Mona Lisa to the girl with the pearl earring to Van Gogh sunflower and now even luxury showrooms. Just stop oil activists are on a complete rampage. But will this act really save the earth? Take a look at my report. No, these are not kids who are bratty. They are not unstable human beings either running amok. They are just oil activists vandalizing art and luxury. A well thought out organized protest against oil companies that are making record profits. In a spate of back-to-back -back events of vandalizing art and luxury, Just Stop Oil activists have been trying to protest in a way that is garnering attention and much criticism too. The German police arrested two people for throwing mashed potatoes at a Claude Monet painting in Germany's Barberini Museum. Three people were arrested in the Netherlands for vandalizing a Vermeer painting called A Girl with a Pearl Earring. One man tried to glue his head to the painting and the other emptied a can of tomato soup over the man's head. The cafet at Mona Lisa painting by Leonardo da Vinci was not spared either at the Louvre in Paris. In fact, the art world and social media was caught absolutely off guard earlier in October too when two of the just stop oil activists threw tomato soup on Vincent van Gogh's painting Sunflowers at the National Gallery in London. Art or life? Is it worth more than food? Worth more than justice? The official Twitter handle of the activist group also shared a video of their activists spraying orange paint from a fire extinguisher over the premises of a luxury watch showroom at Knightsbridge. In an accompanying video, they brag about vandalizing the glass in front of the showroom. One would wonder, what do they even want? How do you feel when you see something beautiful and priceless being apparently destroyed before your eyes? I do feel it necessary at this time to get people's attention. And when people all over the world are suffering and dying because of the devastating impact of the climate crisis, the government needs to stamp up. The nature of these protests, whether at Harris or the Ferrari showroom or Bentley showroom or the Madame Tussauds for that matter or any of the museums has sure triggered a widespread debate on climate change, activism and civil disobedience. The protesters have admitted they resorted to these tactics because little else has worked. Why does it not do anything? to prevent the destruction and poisoning of this planet. None of the paintings were harmed as they were all in protective glass. But these acts have triggered a global debate and brought the talk around climate change back in focus. But the question really remains still. Is this the way the planet can win? The jury is still out on that one. In New Delhi, Chaitanya Rula for India Today.